Hey guys, what's up? It's Pixelated Apollo. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you guys are doing well. And today we have a sponsored video by Oasis Games. Now I've gotten a couple sponsored offers in the past, and I usually never do them unless it's a game I'm very interested in or a game that I think you guys will enjoy. That way it's a win-win situation. And that's exactly what we have here. This is a game called Tiger Knight. And I was actually quite interested in this game before they even contact me. Now in a nutshell, this is a free-to-play game that's a blend of Mountain Blade, Dynasty Warriors, and Total War Arena. It's actually very similar to Total War Arena in the, the free-to-play upgrading elements of the game, which you'll see very soon enough. Uh, now, what we're going to do in today's battle, or, or today's video, is we're actually going to play some battles so you can see what the combat system is all about. Uh, but before we do that, I do want to show you around this, uh, this almost, it's a bit overwhelming of an interface. There's a lot of buttons going on. It's pretty dynamic, but I do want to give you a general idea so that way when you guys try out the game, you'll have a, a solid understanding of what to do. Okay, so... This is, well, this is our barracks down here, and this uh, has all the, all the troops that you can use in online battles. And there's actually a militia unit from each faction. So let's go ahead and look at the different factions we have here. So we have multiple Chinese factions, but we also have a Roman faction, which is coming soon, which I'm super excited about. And I think they're going to be adding Persians sometime in the future. Which I'm I think that's really cool because it's not just a Chinese focused game It's actually focused around all around the world different civilizations I hope they add different time periods as well It would be cool to have like a medieval faction seeing knights take on ancient Chinese factions I don't know it doesn't make sense, but it's cool and hopefully we'll see that uh, But if we look on how you get these units, you can see most of them are grayed out uh, But it's again if you ever play Total War Arena It's very it's a very similar system where you you have your unit you can upgrade his armor his weapons And once you have enough upgrades eventually you have well eventually you can upgrade to the next best unit Which is the spear sergeant so we have militia and then spear sergeant uh, if we look at this faction as a whole you can see that they're actually very spear focused in each faction is actually quite dynamic like the shoe faction seems to be more of a two-handed damage dealing faction they also have uh, some horse archers down here and just some standard archers then we got the Wu faction which i think they've got yeah they also have a lot of archers and great infantry so that's going to add a lot of great replayability when you're tr you're just trying to unlock new units from different factions just to build different army comps and, and and whatnot just trying out different styles of play so for for our battle we are going to go with the militia because that's all i can i can fight as i still have to spend some time and upgrade some of these units uh, but another cool thing about upgrading your units uh, armor and weapons is that if you see a weapon that you actually like and you're like hey you know I, I kind of want to use that weapon on the battlefield well you can you can click on this button right here and pay for it for your own character so that adds a lot of inventory for your own unit a lot of personalization so you can go into the battlefield with weapons that you think are really cool and you think would help out on the battlefield so that's one feature I really enjoy so that's that's pretty much I mean that's basic understanding we do have some special units which you can pay I believe some money for and uh, some maybe some um, what is this this is like um, uh, cosmetic stuff here which is which is pretty cool uh, but yeah it's it's pretty basic to the standard free-to-play game now with your army you also have an officer he's a lot better than the grunts you have fighting in the front lines so uh, if you click on him you can actually get different officers to fight with you so whatever kind of army comp you're trying to build so say if you want to be more of a skirmishing kind of you know force you can get a um, officer who is focused around the bow uh, now unfortunately I again I don't have enough gold or money to upgrade or experience points to upgrade to the next officer so I'm gonna stick to this guy I think these are historical figures I really don't know um, but there's a bit of a backstory to them which is pretty cool and pretty immersive there so we got this fellow terrible at pronouncing names so I'm not even gonna try uh, but he's a you know skirmish cav type unit now with your character, 
So go back to him. You can see your achievements, your career. I think there's even replays, which would be pretty cool to watch a replay instead of playing live so you can focus on the strategy in future videos. Um, but you can also upgrade your character by going to storage. And this is where you have all your, your equipment here. So you can see I recently bought some burlap armor because I really didn't want this Roman hunter short armor. I mean, really, it's basically a red shirt. I didn't really want it. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go with the burlap armor. It may not be like stat wise. It's pretty equipped equivalent but it looks cooler and that's all that matters uh, so that's what I got there I got pretty basic weaponry this I mean this is the weapons that I started off with again I'm only level 7 so I'm just a cadet here I, I need to get more points I did unlock a horse though which is really cool and you can get horse equipment and then you can get some fashion stuff you can get a black flag which you can put on your back which is really cool so it just you know really cool cosmetic stuff and you can also save your different setups so you, you can have, I think, up to four different setups and you can just call it something if you want to play a certain play style. So that's really it, guys. I mean, I, I mean, it's, uh, there's a little nuance to things here and there, but that's the general overview of how to set up your forces. I think you guys are ready. I'm ready to fight in a battle. Today, we're going to do command mode, which is where you're on the battlefield commanding troops and capturing flags and, you know, trying to kill the enemy. There's also dual mode, which is pretty self-evident. It's where you duel someone. And then you have epic war, which I definitely want to try out, where you're you're with other players fighting the, uh, the AI, and you can do normal, hard. I think that would be pretty fun. I might make a future video about that. And then, oh, sorry, guys, <laughs> my bad. And then they also have um, a siege mode, which is not quite ready yet, but you got to be level 15 to to play it. So I'm, I'm getting there. I'm about halfway there. So a couple more uh, battles and I should get there. So all right, guys, so let's uh, let's now join a battle and let's show how the uh, the battles work. All right, guys, so here we are at the loading screen. We uh, finally got into a match, and this is where you can select the different locations on where you want your forces to start out. Uh, this kind of reminds me of Total War Arena. You can do something very similar to that, uh, but I think... You know what? Let's just go Leroy Jenkins into the fight. We're going to start at uh, Region 1 here. Pixie Poo, that's my username in this game. We're going to be leading the way to greatness. Now, I am going to show you some of the mechanics to the game once we get started here. Uh, but there's only like 10 seconds left, so I, you know, I won't have to edit this out. We'll go ahead and confirm. Uh, for, unfortunately, you can't see where your other allies are spawning, but it does show you right at the last second here. Let's see. Yep, there they are. So most of the forces are actually going towards the center. So maybe if we could... Oh, here we go. Okay, well, the first impression of this game is that it's gorgeous. I love the graphics. It looks really cool. Uh, these are my units right here. Uh, if you want to command them, do different... Uh, well, di there's different uh, stances you can take. So this is a uh, guard around me. So just stand around me, protect me. Uh, you can also do... Um, let's see, what is this? Uh, soldiers will move with the player. All right, so that's F2. So they'll just stick with me wherever I go. And then F3 is just like charge, raid, go kill anyone you want. But we're not going to do that. Come back here, boys. What are you doing? All right, so they're going to stick with me. Let's now advance forward. So I am on horseback. I've got some javelins on my back. We're going to we're gonna push extremely hard on this flank. We do have some... If you look on the mini-map there, you can see... Oh, 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 here comes that, some enemy forces, guys. All right, let's, let's defend around me, guys. Defend. You can also do different formations. Uh, so let's do a, a box formation there at the at the crossing. All right, so let's throw these javelins. They actually do quite a bit of damage. Now killing the grunts are actually quite easy. All right, let's dismount because I'm I'm not really controlling this horse so well. Let's take out my short sword and uh, let's let's kill some let's kill some foes. So again, the mechanics. If you ever played Mountain Blade, this is gonna feel like home to you. I mean, it's it's very similar. Whatever direction your mouse is uh, is going at, that's the direction you'll swing at. Uh, so you can see you got, I got different attacks. If you hold the attack button, you can do more damage. Uh, so it's like a charged up thing. Uh, now, Houston is a player, quote unquote. I think the game adds some AI players just so you can get some matches going a little bit faster. Pretty sure, I could be wrong though, but he got wrecked there. And then what he, okay, so right now he's not technically dead. You can finish him off and uh, just kill him. Do a little cool kill animation. See you later, bruh. So if they're, if they're in that dying stance like that, you can actually save them if you're a teammate. So you can kind of like revive them. So, you know, this game kind of reminds me of... Um, 
Reminds me of uh, Honor, for Honor. All right, so now we're taking on this Pike unit. My soldiers are still going pretty strong. We get another player here. Brent Diaz. Diaz. All right, come on. Yeah. He's get. See, it's, it gets really difficult when you're outnumbered like this. It gets uh, pretty hard to block because you're getting hit from multiple, uh, mul multiple angles. Oh, there you go. You got a hit on me. Oh, there we go. There goes another player. So we'll go ahead and take him out. One of my favorite parts of the game, these cool ca kill animations. Now, unfortunately, since I dismounted on my horse, I can't quite get back on the horse. Uh, we do have an officer officer here. It looks like he's trying to fight my officer. So let's take him out, get some points. Oh, that was easy. All right, see you later, dude. Good Rip morale. in peace. Good morale. All right, so we're going to head towards the center because actually our base is under attack. So let's, let's go directly back from where we came from. A lot of my troops are still alive, which is great to see. Uh, you can charge forward by double tapping W. A little charge animation there. Get us uh, back to our base a little bit quicker. Uh, we can't lose our base. I'm pretty sure it will be a victory for them if they take it. So let's make sure my forces are falling back with me. I think most of my troops died in that engagement there. At the, that main fight at that bridge. Alright, so unfortunately we're out of skirmishing. Uh, out of javelins. Alright, let's clean up these troops. And this is why this game kind of reminds... Well, the art style and just how easy it is to kill these grunts reminds me of Dynasty Warriors. I mean, you can kill so many troops in that game. It's ridiculous. All right. Okay, this is actually getting pretty intense here. All right, my soldiers are with me. My health is still pretty, so pretty strong. You can see the grunts don't really do a lot of damage to you. Uh, but they're more annoying when you're trying to, trying to fight a, another human player. And they're just in your way. So you can't proper properly fight them or block properly. All right, so now it's down to Coral, Coral Peters. Come on, Coral. There we go. There's another player down. Double kill. Let's go ahead and finish them off. So I think we took out three, three enemy commanders. Uh, we do have uh, enemy officer back here, so let's try to kill him. We defended our base successfully. Come on, dude. Stop running around. Come on, fight me. Fight me, coward. Let's see if we can corner him. Oh! Alright, I gotta recharge my charge. Recharge my charge. Come on. Alright, kill his horse. Alright, now the enemy is broken. I think we're doing alright. I think we're winning this one. Oh my god. There we go. There we go. He's been dismounted. Let's... There we go. Alright, he's done. So now we can move on to the center of the map. If you look on the battlefield, it does look like there's some uh, fighting going on in the center. And oh, that's it, guys. We killed all the uh, enemy officers. And that is a victory. Well done to my team. I'm actually, oh, look at that. Top of my class here. Getting four general kills, 18 soldiers killed, one assist, and uh, 94 ping. So great job there. I, You know what? I think I'm going to do another game because that was pretty short. These games, sometimes they can be like 10 minutes long or five minutes long. It really just depends on the map and how good the players are. Uh, so let's let's go ahead and start up another battle. Oh, actually, uh, before we do that, I do want to show you the victory screen here. We have leveled up to level eight. Uh, we've unlocked dual mode, which is cool. Uh, but yeah, here's the stats. Uh, you can return to the main screen. This is where you actually heal back your, your troops that you lost, which again, reminds me a lot of Total War Arena. So we got them healed up. We're ready to go. We're ready to go for another battle. So I'll join you guys in another fight. All right, guys. So here we are on the loading screen. We're actually playing on the same map. It's called Red Cliff, and we're we're actually on the opposite side. So we're gonna see a different point of view on the battlefield. We're gonna go with Section Ten here. And we're gonna go for this question mark, this uh, flag you have to capture. Also, I forgot to mention that when you capture flags, I believe it gives your units certain buffs. Like sometimes there's a health fa uh, capture flag, which will add more health to your unit. At least I, I think that's the case. Uh, but we'll go ahead and charge in. We're going to be pretty aggressive here. Uh, we were pretty late the last time we played. Uh, but yeah, again, the maps are just gorgeous. This is a very like choke pointy kind of map. And you'll notice that the battles are very... Well, you, they, they're... They lead to some very cluster situations, but I think the more you play and the, the better the players, 
you'll actually uh, you'll have more tactical kind of engagements. Also, when your units get better, because then you can like hold shield wall for a little bit longer and whatnot. All right, so we're, oh, oh, come on, I'm stuck. Move out of the way, guys. I need to capture this. So we're capturing this flag here. It looks like. There we go. Uh, so I think you you actually have to physically capture it. Let me just dismount here. I don't think I had to dismount, but whatever. All right, man. Hold this location. I don't think we're going to see any... Uh, yeah, we're not going to see any uh, enemies here. Can I get back on my horse? Thank you. All right, so let's let's now move out. Follow me, boys. Follow me. We're, we could sneak behind their, their base and... You know what? Let's not do that. I want to see some action. I want to... I want to get some action. Let's go to the, the center of the fight where I see there's some some intense stuff going on in the minimap. Uh, yeah, I do see some fighting. It's always fun to see your allies in need and you just show up with fresh troops ready to aid them. All right, so we're getting close here. Please tell me this is the right way. Yep, yep, yep. They're actually my allies doing all right, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got fresh troops, boys. Gotta throw a javelin at this dude as he runs by. Let's see. Let's chase him down. Oh, I missed. Dang it. All right, I'm going to chase this guy down because he was a real pain to chase the last battle. All right, oh, oh, oh. Wait, wait. We got reinforcements, guys. Uh, let's try to hold a defensive uh, line. here. Oh, yeah. Here they come. Here they come. Defensive position around me. Hold. Get ready. All right, let's dismount and fight these guys. Fight them like men. So we're definitely not uh, seeing a lot of... Uh, I mean, the last battle is a little bit more action-packed, that's for sure. There we go. Crush him. Oh, 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 oh my god. Okay, so we got... Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a legit player here. Okay, he seems pretty good. Oh, no. All right, so you can block... Die! Dang it. All right, he's, he's kicking my butt. His troops are kicking my butt, too. He's killed my troops. I suck without a shield. I'm trying to properly block against the... Oh, yeah, I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded. I'm dead. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This is... You can tell it's a human player. He, he's got some pretty cool equipment. He was able to... to wreck my dreams there. And now the rest of his units are going to come charging down the boats and take out the rest of our forces. Where was the rest of my army? Where was this guy? You know, I needed him. So I think there's going to be a really cool tactical element, especially when you're playing with friends and you need to fall back and group up with friends or go to different choke points or support, you know, your friends in different situations. I think it's going to be really cool and really competitive. And it would be cool to see like a competitive scene for this game because I think it actually works. I think I think there, there could very potentially be a pretty cool competitive scene uh, for this for this really awesome game. Now, um, as of right now, we are just we got smoke weed over here, which I assume, yeah, he's 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 capturing a flag in the back, but he's gonna get wrecked real hard. He's got his men raiding to uh, no, they're coming back. He's, he's like, wait, come back. He's about to be flanked here though. All right. Yep. There comes that guy again. Oh, he charges into the fight. Not trying to uh, dis uh, dehorse him. He's gonna get him off the horse. What I'm trying to say. And just like that, his horse is butchered. And uh, he's taken on some some enemy generals. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> he's dead. So our team didn't have really great unity there. It just seems like our team was scattered everywhere. I thought we were doing well when I showed up in the center and we were kicking butt. Uh, but we got Falcon Rush coming in. And this looks like it's going to be a defeat. Oh, here goes another kill animation. Winning or losing it's amazing, but you lost the battle. <laughs> uh, oh, wow, we actually were in last. I only killed four soldiers. Uh, I did capture a flag, though, so I should think I got some points from that. But uh, that's the complete opposite from the last battle. So uh, that's going to... Well, hold on, let's go back. Let's actually look at the uh, defeat stats or the stats at the end of the battle. 
Okay, so here we are. Defeat. Yeah, it's not great, but hey, we still got some experience. We still got, uh, you know, some points so we can upgrade our, our general and hopefully get some better units. We can go ahead and reheal some of these soldiers. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much the game in a nutshell. Uh, please let me know some feedback if you want to see more of this game. Uh, I, I can tell by, you know, if you guys leave likes, comments. Uh, usually the more likes, I'm more... more in well, I'm more gonna play it more in the future is what I'm trying to say uh, But yeah, be just let me know. I'm definitely gonna try out the different game modes I, I think I'm gonna do an epic war next maybe play with some friends like Jackie fish or something But I highly recommend you give this game a try if free-to-play games are not really your cup of tea I, That's really the case for me, but I really enjoy this one. It doesn't feel like your normal free-to-play game it's actually quite fun and very addicting so uh thanks for watching the video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did enjoy it again remember to leave a like a comment share and of course subscribe if you want to see more epic battles so thanks guys and i'll see you next time